the vesting day is very prominent. It sits at the back of the deed, it's 80 years, it's all very easy, and people check it on their checklist and move on. The trigger day is normally a little bit more buried down. It might be buried in amongst all the income clauses or otherwise hidden in the deed and not something acutely and bluntly obvious. But the trigger day, it's a little bit like scissor, paper, rock. The trigger day actually beats the vesting day. And what the trigger day says in the ones we most often see is that on the trigger day, the trust automatically converts from what is otherwise a standard family discretionary trust into separate trusts for each of the children of the primary beneficiaries. So in my case study example, I'm saying there's two children of the primary beneficiaries. So that would mean that the original family trust is vested and automatically converts into two brand new trusts of which 50% of the assets pass from the original trust there, 50% of the assets pass from the original trust there. What is the trigger date? Well, invariably, the trigger date is the last to die of mum or dad. So the last to die of mum or dad. On that trigger date happening, as I said, automatic conversion down into two trusts. Now, where we've seen that occur is in factual scenarios where it's not actually identified until many, many years after the trigger date. So what's actually happening there? There's an absolute entitlement and a complete legal and beneficial right for these two trusts to have their 50% share. But in the meantime, this family trust is just motored on, making distributions all over the place. And in every instance I've seen this, the distributions has never even been remotely close to a 50-50 split between those two other family units. So there'll be, you know, there's a bucket company being used or it's still going to um, other siblings or whatever it might be. There's a whole range of potential beneficiaries and they've completely ignored the fact that this trigger date was, has actually mandated the segregation of all assets and the conversion into two completely new trusts.